All right, just a couple of thoughts. One that's sort of deeply cosmic and another one that is fascinatingly disturbing, I think. We observe stars, we know what goes on in their center, they explode, laying bare their contents. And what we have discovered is that the elements of the periodic table, that which we are made of, derive from the actions of stars that have manufactured the elements, exploded, scattered their enriched guts across the galaxy, contaminating or enriching gas clouds that then form a next generation of stars populated by planets and possibly life. And so, when you look at the ingredients of the universe, the number one ingredient is hydrogen. Next is helium, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen. Those are the top ingredients in the universe. Oh, and you look at Earth, because we like thinking of ourselves as special, we say, oh, we're special. Well, what are we made of? Well, what's the number one sort of molecule in the body? It's, it's water. It's water. Well, what's water made of? H2O. Hydrogen and oxygen. Hmm. Hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, number one in the human body is hydrogen. Matches the universe. Number two is oxygen. Matches the universe. Number three, carbon. Matches the universe. Number four, nitrogen. Matches the universe. And for each of us, the fifth element, other, is the same in both places. Okay? But there are people who are upset by that fact, saying, well, that, will that mean we're not special? Well, I think it, it's special in another kind of way. Because when you look up at the night sky, it's no longer we're here and that's there. It's that we are part of that. So, we learned in the last 50 years that of course, not only do we exist in this universe, it is the universe itself that exists within us.